So I have this e-commerce website right here that I created with WordPress. Now everything is all set, the product, everything is in place. The only thing missing is a payment gateway that customers can use to buy our products. For instance, if a customer comes over to our website and tries to buy this product, let's say click on add to cart and then view cart. At this point, they are supposed to click proceed to checkout and then fill in the checkout form by entering their contact information the shipping address where the product will be shipped to, and then proceed to place your order. But we have one major problem right here because there is no payment method that our customers can use to complete their order. And this is the problem Paystack is going to help us solve. So by the time we are done adding the Paystack payment gateway to this website, customers should be able to buy our products without any issues. Paystack is the best type of alternative for Nigerians if you want to start receiving payments on your website. With the Paystack Payment Gateway, your customers can get to pay you through multiple payment options like using your card, through bank transfer, your bank account, and the likes. You can also use Paystack to receive payments in multiple currencies, which will allow customers to pay you from anywhere in the world. So in this video, I am going to walk you through how to add Paystack Payment Gateway to your WordPress website. This video is going to cover every step starting from how to set up and verify your Paystack account to how to integrate it with WooCommerce. And we are also going to do a live demo to show you that everything works perfectly. And before we proceed, if you get value from this video, please hit the thumbs up button to give this video a like. And with all that said, let's get started. So to add Paystack as a payment gateway on your website, the first thing you need is a verified Paystack account. And getting a Paystack account is actually super easy. Just open a new tab in your browser and then visit paystack.com. This link will also be in the description below. And right here, what you just want to do is go ahead and click on create a free account. And next, you just want to go ahead and complete the sign-up form. Select your country, which is Nigeria for me, then enter your business name. I'll just use my name as the business name and then your first name, enter your first name, enter your last name, then your email address right here, and you will need to enter your phone number. After that, go ahead and set a password for yourself. And then what type of business do you own? I'll go ahead and select starter business. And if you're a registered business, you can select registered business as well. And then finally, are you a software developer? Just select the one that best applies to you and then click on create my account. Now you will need to verify your email address. So I'll just go ahead and check my email inbox. And here is it. I'll just go ahead, open it, and then click on confirm email address. My email address has been verified. Now I can just go ahead and log into my Paystack account. So enter your email address and then the password you created for yourself, and then click on log into your account. And once you log into your Paystack account for the first time, you are going to see this notification that says your business is in test mode. So you can start using Paystack right away. To activate live payments, submit your compliance forms. So I'm going to click got it. And then here you need to enter your trading name, which is basically the name you want to use for business. And then a description of what you do in your business, then the size of your staff, the industry you work in, the category, and then the business type. For the description, let's say if I am selling courses on my website, I'll just type in, I sell online courses, eBooks, coaching, and other digital products. Then for the staff size, I'm going to use one to five. For industry, I'm going to select education. Just select the industry that best describes your niche. Then for the category, I'm going to use virtual learning and then go ahead and click on save. I can just close this notification so that we can proceed immediately. So after filling our profile, I'll click next so that we can fill in our contact information on the next step. So for the support email, I'm going to use the same email address as the support email. So just select use general email. And then for dispute, let's say if customers have issues when making payments on your website, where do you want to direct you know, those disputes to? I'll use general email. And then phone number, use the same phone number. And then you just want to type in your website address right here. So I'll just do that. Also, you can link your Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram account to your Paystack account. But I'm going to leave that for now. And next, you need to enter your office address. So choose the state. Let me just type in Lagos and then enter the city of your office address and then also the street address. You can also enter the name of the building, but this is completely optional. So I'll just click on save. All right, now I'm going to close this notification as well. And then we'll click on next so that we can proceed to the next step where you will need to submit your ID. 
So I'm going to enter my first name again, last name, enter your date of birth, then select your nationality. I'm going to look for Nigeria and then select the type of ID you want to use. Now you have the option to either use your BVN, your driver's license, your NIN, your voter's card, or your passport. Let's say I want to use BVN for this. Next, you need to enter the BVN, or let's say if you select NIN, then you need to enter your NIN right here and then upload a copy of your NIN slip, or if you select passport, the same thing, you enter the passport number and then upload a copy of your passport's data page. So let me stick to BVN for this and then enter my BVN right here. After entering all of that, you can just scroll down to the home address section. Now, if your home address is the same as the address you used you know, for the business address, you can just check this. Or if the home address is different, you can just uncheck this and then go ahead and enter the details of your home address. But I'm using the same address both for home and business. And then finally, you need to upload a proof of address. Now, you could use your utility bill, bank statement, or any of these options that they have right here. But the most important thing is that the document cannot be older than six months. So just click on choose files to upload your proof of address. All right, I'm done with that. Now I'll just click on save. This is a review of the details you just entered. And if you made a mistake, you can just click on edit and then edit whichever information you want to edit. But if you are good with this, you can just go ahead and click on next. Now the final step is to enter your bank account information. So whenever people pay you to pay stack, where do you want to withdraw your money to? I'm going to select the bank I want to use and then enter the account number. The name on the account is going to appear here automatically. Now you can just go ahead and click on save. So we are done entering all the required information. Now you can just go ahead and click on activate business. And with that, your Paystack account is now live and ready to start receiving payments. So you can see at the top right here, the toggle has changed from test to live. So we are good to start using this Paystack account to receive payments from our website. Now, there are a lot of things that you can do from your Paystack dashboard. For instance, if you come back to the homepage, this is where you are going to see a report of how your business is performing, the amount you've made, success rate, payment issues, you know, total payout and all of that. And then you have other options on the menu as well, like transactions, customers, refunds, payout, dispute, transaction splits, sub account, terminals, and then for recurring payments like subscriptions and the likes, this is where you can get set that up. And then you can also create payment pages, products, storefronts, right from inside your Paystack account. But we're not going to touch all of that for now. We just want to connect Paystack to our WordPress website. But I recommend you take the time to set up two-factor authentication to add an extra layer of security to your Paystack account. So you can see this notification here telling you to set up 2FA. And if you want to do that, you can click on this account icon and then click on profile. And then here you can see the two-factor option. You can just check this and it will basically show you the steps you need to follow to enable 2FA. As a matter of fact, I will assume that you already know how to go about this process because if you've done 2FA on any other platform or on any other website, the process is the same, but I'm going to do this later. Once you do all of this, then you are ready to add this tag to your WordPress website. And to do that, first, let's go over to our WordPress dashboard. So this website I'm working on. So I'll just log in to the admin dashboard, just enter the admin username and password and then go ahead and log in. At this point, let me quickly mention that you should already have the WooCommerce plugin installed on your WordPress website. So anytime you are setting up an e-commerce related website on WordPress, you are going to need WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a plugin that will help you manage the product on your website and every other e-commerce functionality, including payments. And Paystack as a payment gateway will be working through WooCommerce. And at this stage, I will assume you already have WooCommerce installed and you have your products listed on your website and every other settings that you need on your website. This video is not a WooCommerce tutorial, so I'll not go into all of that in depth. Although I've made previous videos on WooCommerce, I'm going to link all of those videos in the description so you can check them out so that we can just focus on Paystack in this video. So what you want to do right now is to come over to plugins, click on add new plugin, now come over to this search box and just type in Paystack. This is going to show you a number of Paystack plugins, but since we are working with WooCommerce, the plugin that we actually need is Paystack WooCommerce Payment Gateway, the one with over 20,000 active installations. 
So you can just go ahead and install this plugin and then just go ahead and activate it immediately. All right, now we have Paystack installed and active on our website. The next step is to come over to WooCommerce, then click on settings. Here under settings, you are going to see the payment option, click on payment. Here you are going to see all the payment methods that you can enable on your website. Currently I have direct bank transfer, check payment, cash on delivery, and then Paystack. And what we need to do right now is come over to finish setup under Paystack. So right here, just click on finish setup. So first I'm going to check enable Paystack. Then you can enter the title for this particular payment method. There's a title people will see on the checkout page and you can enter the description as well. If you don't want to use this default description, you can enter your own custom description. And then if you're just testing things out while working on your website, you can enable test mode right here. But since we are working on a live website that our customers are going to actually use, no need to check this. And then the payment option, you want it to be a pop-up or a redirect to another page. I'm going to use pop-up, that's just easier. Next, you need to get your live secret key and your live public key. And to get these keys, just come over to your WordPress dashboard again, and then click on the account icon, and then click on profile. Here, just click on API keys and webhooks. Here, you are going to see two sections. The first section for live mode, this is what you should use for actual real world websites. And then the second section is for test mode. So we need the live keys. Here's my live secret key. And of course, from the name, you already know that it's a secret key. You don't want to share this key with anybody. So I'll just copy this key, enter my password, and then this is my key right here, just copy it, and then come over to WooCommerce, paste the key in the live secret key section. Now, the next key we need is the live public key. So I'll come over here. This is the live public key. I'll copy and then come over and paste. Now we can scroll further down, auto complete order after payment. I'm going to check this and then remove cancel order or restore card button. That's up to you. You can enable split payment right here if you want, but I'm not going to check that. Then additional paystar gateways. I'm not going to touch this right now. I'm going to enable payment via saved cards. And that's all I'll be doing here. I'll just click on save changes. Before we leave this page, there is one more thing that you can do. Although this is optional, you can see it right here. To avoid situations where a bad network makes it impossible to verify transactions, set your webhook URL here. So I'm going to copy the webhook URL and then come over to our paystack dashboard again. So you have two fields here, live callback URL and then live webhook URL. So we're going to paste the webhook URL here and then click on save changes. All right. And with that, our Paystack Payment Gateway should be working perfectly right now. So let's test it out. So you can see we have Paystack enabled. And let's visit um, our website. Let's try to buy something from this website. And let's see how it is going to work. So I'll come back to shop. Then just select one of the products that I have here. Let's say this. And then just add maybe 10 of these to my cart. Click on Add to Cart. And then View Cart. We are getting 10 of these items. And that's going to cost us a total of 600 Nera. So I'll just click proceed to checkout. And this is the checkout form. So after customers enter their contact information, the shipping address, and then the shipping options, here you can see our payment gateway right here, debit or credit cards, which is the title we use for this payment gateway. And this is where the description is going to be. And if you want to save payment information, you can check this, but no need for that right now. I'll just go ahead and click on place order. And you can see that the payment gateway is actually working. And now our customers have the option to either pay with their cards, they can pay through bank transfer or through their bank account, USSD, Visa QR code, whichever option they prefer. So let me just go ahead and complete this payment. Let's see how it is going to work. I'm going to use the bank transfer option. And this is the bank name and the account number I need to send the money to. So I'll just copy this account number and then proceed to make the transfer. I have sent the payment and the order has been completed successfully. Now, if you check your Paystack dashboard, let's come back to the homepage. You are going to see the report right here. The amount of money we've made is 600 Nera from this one sale, and then the success rate, 100%, and all of these other details. And if you come back to transactions, here you are going to see the details of the transactions on your website. So the amount, the customer email, the reference ID, the channel, and the date of the transaction. Also, if you come over to customers, 
this is where you are going to see the details of your customers, the email, full name, phone number, and the likes. And if you ever need to, you can export your customer details as a CSV file. So this is basically how you can add Paystack Payment Gateway to your WordPress WooCommerce website. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section, or if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be there answering your questions. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell notifications so I'll be the first to know anytime I drop a new video. And if you want to learn how to customize your WooCommerce checkout page to increase the conversion rate on your website, click here to watch my video where I'll show you step by step